Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. I am at transferring uh, Hi8 stroke Video 8 camcorder tapes from the, these are from 1986 through 1999. Okay, now very, very common with these tapes is when you put them in a player, and this is very common with all of these transfer companies that are luring people in with cheap ads on Facebook, Instagram, and they get all you send off all your tapes. Seems like you're getting a good deal, but all you're getting back is blue screen or snow on the digital copies on the files. But you put them in your player, and you're like, wait a minute, I can see the picture. And this is very common with these old tapes. Guys, if you've got tapes out there this old, they will more than likely have issues. Not only issues with the tapes, but issues with the players as well. This stuff is old. Everyone underestimates the quality of their tapes, especially if they have been stored in humid conditions outside in the garage, in the attic, in the basement that's damp. Um, they're going to have problems. And this is why all these companies aren't transferring stuff and they're putting stickers on everything saying your tapes are blank. When clearly they've got, you know, like this, writing Christmas 1990, Christmas 1990. And it's just like, ah. So problems being, the reason it's doing that is one of, well, a couple different things. Dirty heads, these tapes, particles come off them and they clog the video heads inside so they need to be cleaned again and again and again. Additionally, sometimes if the tapes have not been played, very common, not been played for 20, 30, 40 years, maybe you just recorded it, used it all up and just shoved it in the box and left it alone. It's never even been played. So they get sticky, they clog the heads, that is why you can only see them in fast forward. There are some tricks to getting these to go. And it takes time. And this is why all of these companies, iMemories, Legacy Box, Kodak Digitizing, South Tree, all of these, this is why I've got all these boxes here. So people keep sending me stuff they've already paid for. And here, look, here's another one. Oh, that one just came back. And they keep sending me, sending it off thinking you're getting a deal. And then you get crap back six months later. And then you paid and then you have to pay again to get it done correctly. So if you are shopping around, you buy cheap, you buy twice. And this stuff is old. So it needs to be cared for by someone with a brain and a heart. Because I could see this and be like, oh, I can't be bothered today. But it's Christmas 1990 or whatever, the birth of a child. It's priceless stuff. And you don't know what the story is behind any of this stuff. But you've got to put your best effort in. And that's why I have the highest reviews of any video transfer company you probably find in the entire world, let alone in the States. Um, and let's have a look here. So a couple different things you can do. You can clean them. I'm going to cut the video in a second because I'm going to, what I'm going to do is exercise the tape. I rewind it, fast forward it a couple of times to let it um, kind of breathe, so to speak. This tape takes about 15 minutes to fast forward. Then to rewind, it takes another 15 minutes. That's if it all goes to plan. Sometimes it gets stuck, chewed up, God knows what. So you're gonna rewind it, fast forward it. So I'm gonna do that right now. It is rewinding, it is fast forwarding. And then I'm gonna give it a clean. Um, I do have cleaners. This is for VHS. I do have video eight cleaners. And I also have VCRs I keep open so I can inspect them further. The same with Video 8. Um, working through a whole pile of tapes here right now. This is where all the magic happens. Just real quick while that's fast forward and rewinding. And if you are looking for a company, you must see YouTube videos. Zero reason why video transfer companies don't have a YouTube channel. Uh, showing their premises, showing how it's done, being helpful without even asking for a dime. Um, spilling expertise. Um, and as I say in all my YouTube videos, you must see, you know, really high Google score. I think it's up to like 280 something right now. 5.0. That is impossible. 
no matter what business you have, to get that a 5.0 with a high number of reviews. Um, and you, you know, typically a retail establishment, bricks and mortar, not sending it off to some PO box that's just, you know, here's another job right here. Dig my picks. Count. People just keep, you know, sending me stuff that they won't do. This job was full of mold. Cleaned that one up. Here's a tape that's done right now. So what I do, which nobody does, especially Legacy Box, is you trim the ends of the clip. Now, this one's all the way to the end of the tape. Um, sometimes there's a two-hour tape. I let it roll, and it's got 57 minutes of footage on it. So I delete an hour and three minutes of footage off of it. So you're only getting the file back with content, all of these hours of blank space, which I know for a fact, Legacy Box, South Tree, Kodak Digitizing, don't do it. They are the same company. They're, they're all the same address, same company, same shafty owners. Um, and don't take my word for it. Go to their um, Facebook and Instagram ads and read the comments. And it is scary. Now I've noticed that their new ads, no comments. They, they've, they've eliminated the comment, the ability to comment on their ads because everyone's complaining. Where's my stuff? I've emailed 10 times. I've called. No one answers. Da, 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 where's my stuff? So they've, instead of stopping production and fixing their problems, they're just like, I know how we fix the problem. We just do Facebook ads, but take out the comment section so people that are thinking about using us don't get scared off by all these comments about how shit we are. Um, anyway, here is the file right here. And once it's captured, what I do is I scroll through it to make sure everything's good, it's clean. If there's any problems, I'm investigating why. Is it the tape? Is it me or is it, you know, what is it? And then redoing it if need be. Another thing I do is increase the audio. I'm having to talk louder because the audio is so loud. All of these companies, you can barely hear the audio because they're transferring stuff to VHS to DVD, then putting in a computer and ripping it to a file, which is a no-no. And even if you are doing that, they're not even doing the basics of increasing the audio levels. So it's just, it's, it's shit on top of shit on top of shit. Pardon my French, but I have very little patience um, for all these companies that are shafting people. And if you are shopping around, do not get lured in by the cheap pricing because it's a false economy. $9 a tape? Well, what are you paying nine bucks for static? You might as well, you gotta understand this takes time, expertise, and, and time is money. It's not crazy pricing. I mean, right now I'm at like 30 to 40 bucks a tape, depending on how many you have and the year that you're watching this but people go oh i'm not paying that then don't <laughs> don't <laughs> don't then throw it all away i don't know but if you want it done right i mean this customer here two hour tapes real time there's no fast way of doing this i mean it's 15 bucks an hour less than that because i've got to rewind fast forward i've got to upload it i got to drop it to files i got to redo stuff if need be it's all a giant pain in the ass so and, and people paid thousands of dollars for the cameras. See, look at this. I started that video. Sorry, I started the thing. See, now it's all the way to the end. It took, actually, that wasn't too bad to rewind it. But that all that time then I was talking, that was fast forwarding. Now it's gonna rewind again. So while that's, I don't even know if I'm gonna carry off the video, but I know you wanna see the end of it um, to see if it actually did um, work. So I'm going to cut the video. Maybe I won't cut the video. I'll just put a chapter marker in there so you can scroll to like the meat and potatoes because I don't edit this stuff as clearly as a lot of you that follow me. See, I just don't have time to edit because it's just all, a, you know, I've got too much going on. Um, so I just do these videos and shoot the shit and um, hopefully some people actually get educated on the process. And hopefully if you guys are out there with your own video transfer company, you're actually doing good work as opposed to um, just churning out junk, uh, which is the mainstay. Um, what I'm gonna do, let's see. 
for the sake of it, I'm going to eject this tape and put it in. I'm gonna put it in a different player actually. Um, I do like any tapes I have issues with. I've got the Video 8 decks, and these are very rare, very expensive, and uh, VCRs. So if I hit play, let's go. My hand is aching there. Oh, please have footage. Uh, maybe the, hmm. let's see. Yeah, it's not picking up a signal here. But needless to say, um, I'm gonna keep rewinding. I'm just gonna rewind it in this here. I do have separate rewinders. Um, I do use camcorders. People are like, oh, you should be using decks. You know what? The expense of all of these things and the simplicity, so to speak, of those, um, it all works the same. If there are issues, I do have higher end stuff to pick up a signal better than um, everything. But I do use um, knackered cameras that, you know, aren't, have got issues um, and I use them as rewinders. Because if some of you have noticed, if you do look for rewinders on eBay, they go for mega bucks. Plastic begins with a K, Kinko or something like that. Um, plastic junk that take like eight AA batteries from the early 90s. And you get them and you're like, what? Anyway, here's another one here. So it's ended, but look, the whole way through, just clear picture and audio. And for those of you out there like, oh, you know, you're using Elgato, you could use this, that, and the other to like upscale it to 4K and blah, 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 blah. Yes, of course. But again, you're going back to what people are willing to pay. People are willing to pay $9 a tape. Real time, you know, you're looking at three, four dollars an hour, um, which just isn't worth anyone's time. And that's why these companies are churning out shit. They're not even transferring stuff. You send off 40 tapes, I guarantee you, you'll get 17 back. From what I've seen on average of all the redo jobs, about 40% of the videotapes that you send in, they don't even transfer anymore. They just go, oh, can I get a picture, slap a sticker, tape is blank. Um, the rest of it looks like utter crap. Either static, uh, jumpy picture, picture in and out, no audio, um, just fuzz. Uh, and then they blame your tapes and it's actually their players. Sometimes it is the tape. But if it is the tape, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna clean it, you're gonna figure it out, contact the customer, no, they don't. They just send it back and go, hey, guess what? And you're like, wait a minute, all my stuff's gone bad. See, look at all this right here. All these greens mean good. Where there's red, that means there's an issue. And then I report that back to the customer and go, right, all of them were good, but these here, number 13, and this particular one had audio issues. Um, and it wasn't on the tape. It was actually a, uh, like a seminar and he had an audio pack that hooked up to the camera. So the audio pack wasn't plugged in correctly. Um, and some of you have might have seen some of these comparisons of what um, I'm getting, you know, on redo jobs. Let's have a look here. So this is the same tape. So you can actually see like, you know, the person there. This is what I'm talking about. This was a legacy box job. And it had the sticker on it saying, due to the age, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I've just done a 12 second sample clip here. But that's the typical thing that you're getting back from these companies. Um, and let's see how this tape is going right now. Oh, it's still rewinding. A um, bunch of tapes done here. This chap here had everything filled to the brim. Two hours, three, see, two hours, three minutes is um, the typical of um, Video 8, High 8. Um, and a lot of companies, um, a lot of companies just record to two hours. See, this one's a little bit of a concern to me 
Look at this. It goes like that, and then it goes the static, and it was only 29 minutes, and then it goes blue screen. So let me have a look at this one, because this one, if I hit play, and let's go. See, look, hold, in, hold down the fast forward, and you can't see it. There's another one. So that I've got to redo and figure out. I've got to fast forward, rewind, blah, 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 clean it, redo the whole thing. This one's coming through nice and clear. That's how it should look. Christmas morning. Um, this one here. Uh, let's have a look. Done. And that other one is done as well. Uh, okay. That one's good. Okay. So this is rewound. So this is the original culprit tape that I fast forward to see, look, you still can't see it. But it's like, it is Christmas 1990 and you're like, okay, so put myself in the shoes of that person. All right, so the fast forward and rewinding, this can come from a number of things, moisture on the heads, humidity, um, back in the day. So I'm gonna put it in this deck now. See, look, I can get a picture. Is that audio? Okay, I can hear audio now. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on, there's no audio. Where's the, mm -hmm. why is there no audio coming through? Aha, because it is freeze framed. Ah, oh, balls. See, look, this is what I have to deal with. Okay, let's see if we can get a picture. Cause you've got to spend the time with this stuff. Maybe the beginning is crap and then it goes, and I find this a lot. Sometimes it'll go good. Like right now, look. Voila. Okay, so the first minute, minute and a half, Oops. stay with me. And it's dark because, you know, obviously it's in a dark room. Woo, here we go. And I'm running it through this deck here. Uh, you know, these, these decks, Jesus, I mean, God, I don't want to pay for this one. Thousand bucks years ago, um, easily. And don't ask how much it costs to keep it maintained and fix it. But look at that, really nice picture. Love it. Boom. Worthwhile. Um, yeah, good stuff. Anyway, um, hopefully this has been some uh, good information for you and you've kind of figured out all the different things you know, there's tips, tricks, how much of a pain in the ass all this stuff is. If you're looking to do it yourself, good luck. I tell everybody when you are looking to do this yourself, you probably are going to need three, four different players, honestly. And they're all crap. The ones on eBay, OfferUp, Craigslist, good luck. They're all, assume they're all junk. Even if they're saying great, this, that, and the other, um, they're, they're always crap. Um, then even if they work fine to begin with, they might start to crap out and you need additional players to backwards, you know, to go, is it the tape? Is it the player? All this kind of stuff. Because if you've got one player, then it's, you know, it goes to crap. You've got nothing to compare it against. Um, tapes will get stuck inside, especially if they're not in good shape or, you know, all these things, 1990s equipment. You got to know what you're doing. Um, and if it's all real time, there's no fast way of doing this. It's not like a zip drive um, where you can just go whoop, done. Um, then you've got files. It's just all a pain in the ass. Honestly, I know I'm in the business and I know I'm here to, but honest, good luck to you. If you want it done, just get it done. Um, pay someone reputable like myself. I can't recommend anybody. Uh, honestly, I don't know 
people come to me for advice in the industry and I'm like, I ain't got time to talk about, you know, my tips and tricks is there in the videos. So if you do want to consult, then, you know, I do charge for my time. Um, anyway, that's it. All the best. If you would like to get a quote, gotmemories.com, there is a quote form there. If you are shopping around for the cheapest price, don't waste your time or mine. It's constant. They're like, mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of stuff. It's old, it's gonna take time, expertise, and equipment to digitize it. So you have to be on the understanding that you're gonna have to invest some money in this. Um, just like you invested money in the camera back in the day, let alone all the Christmas days, the vacations, um, all, you know, sports team stuff. All of this money that was pumped into children, family, life events, you know, you go away for a long weekend, it costs you two grand. And here we are spending a thousand to recapture and preserve the last 30 years of your life, you know, it's 30 bucks a year, whatever it is. Is it worth it to you? If it isn't, fuck it out. Otherwise, if it is worth something to you, be prepared to pay somebody a good rate to get it done correctly. Otherwise, you will be revisiting this again to redo it and pay again. That's me. I'm out. All the best to you guys. Gotmemories.com. Blah, blah, blah. Cheers.